guys, welcome back. And here's part two of my uh, critique of the media's bold predictions. <laughs> Look at this. The Astros won't even reach the ALCS. <laughs> Okay, this was all predicted before the playoffs began. This was before the A's lost. This is before, uh, you know, now the Dodgers are one and one in their series. This this is insane. This is insane. These predictions. Hey, we'll, we'll see what happens step by step. I have a few little kind of fears, but not deep fears. It's baseball. We're enjoying it. Win or lose, we are enjoying it. Please, everybody, enjoy the process the Astros go through. Trust the team. Whether they win or lose, hey, things happen. I've said it so many times. The ball bounces funny ways. With with Garrett Cole being otherworldly, this guy was not born on this earth. This guy is, like, absolutely pitching out of his mind. Just trust the process that it'll get us there. Trust that when we see... Let's say the it looks like the Yankees in the next series. That he's going to create swings and misses. The guy is hitting the corners of the plate. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Uh, the Astros won't even reach the ALCS, number one. Yeah, right. I don't even want to go into this. Let's go ahead and read it. Listen, the Astros own one of the best rotations in baseball, and their lineup features five all-stars, as well as the rookie of the year candidate in Jordan Alvarez. With that being said, Oakland is 59 and 29 since June 17th, which is the best record in all baseball. The Athletics are no longer scared of the 2000 series world champions like they once were. So true. But you know one thing, the A's always choke in the wild card game. Come on, I've been seeing them choke in the wild card game. For year after year after year, winner take all games, they choke. I think it was 2000, was it 13 or 14? <clears throat> I think it was, it was 14 where they played the Royals and choked in like the seventh or eighth inning. It was one of the best wild card games of all time for the Royals. Okay. Number two, Yankees won't even get a single quality start. <laughs> Okay, Masahiro Tanaka, yeah, right, James Paxton, okay, okay. I don't even want to get into this stuff. You guys can freeze it and read it. I'll go ahead and scroll up very slowly for you guys. The Yankees-Twins game will average over four hours in length. <laughs> hey, everybody knows that the average baseball game takes two hours and 47 minutes, but the average playoff game takes about three and a half hours. So with the scores being like eight to two, four to two, they're not going into extra innings. It's You're just kind of like basically saying play, playoff baseball takes longer. Disagree again. None of these are good so far. Canna wins ALCS MVP. E Wrong again. You're not even in the playoffs anymore. I'll scroll slowly so you guys can read it. Urias becomes the Dodgers substitute closer. Okay, that's possible. Oh, this writer must be from L.A. or New York. He even predicted an all-California World Series. This is like a California-born guy. I predict an all-Texas World Series. Anyway, which can't happen because they're in the same league. The Nationals will finally advance, sort of. Okay, the Nationals have never won a playoff series. I, I already know what he's talking about. You guys can read it, but he's basically talking about them winning the wild card game, which they luckily did due to an error. Due to an error. And also, they're... Uh, they're, they're basically saying they're not going to advance any further. Right now, the series with the Dodgers is tied one-to-one. -one. Uh, you know, they're putting their pieces together with, like, Juan Soto and... Um, I wanted to say Francisco Lindor, but anyway, has a similar name. It's just not coming to mind right now. Also, you know, Max Scherzer and, um, and uh, Steven Strasburg and... Uh, God, why can't I think of that name right now? Anyway, doesn't matter... I think the Nationals, th this guy's predicting they'll lose to the Dodgers. I'm saying, hey, the next two games are in National Stadium. 
with all the chips on the line. You don't know what's going to go down. Are the Dodgers the better team than the Nationals? Absolutely, they are. But what I'm saying is that the, that the Nationals have stolen home field advantage. So this prediction, I do agree with. I do agree with. It's a good prediction. I haven't agreed with the other five. I agree with this one. So that's the first one I agree with. Cardinals are the first team eliminated from the LDS. Huh. I think I would, I might agree with that too. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it does in a way make sense. But then again, that's just kind of uh, saying that they're going to get swept, which actually didn't happen. So, so actually it might be the twins or, or actually it might be the Rays. Yeah. You know, I, I don't agree with this one. Anyway, I'll, you guys can stop it if you want to look read the article. Muncie wins the World Series MVP. Okay, so number seven, I did not agree with. Number eight, uh, no, I don't predict that. Okay, let's see. Yes, this means I am predicting that the Dodgers are finally going to get over the hump and bring a championship back. Of course, anybody that uses Chavez Ravine, oh my God, this guy must be in L.A., Anyway, it's not a personal attack. I'm just not agreeing with your predictions. I don't agree with Max Muncy. I do not agree with this prediction. I do not agree, agree that they're going to get over the hump. We're still in the NLDS on this side. It's one-to-one. -one. They have to get around the first round. They have to get around the second round. Then they have to get around Verlander and Cole if they see us. Give me a break. This, this prediction totally disagree with the most. Crucial call goes against the Yankees in a pivotal game. Okay, who can predict that? Okay, I, I don't. E I don't even know. This is this guy in New York. A crucial call goes against the Yankees in a pivotal game. Oh my God! I love teasing these guys. Hey, maybe it's not professional. It's just my little channel, my little free channel, having fun, trying to create some emotion for you guys. And I'm telling you. That, okay, a crucial call is going to go against the Astros. Yeah, okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'll give you the calm version of me. Number 10, Dodgers bust out the brooms in the World Series. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, disagree again. So, I believe I only agreed with one of these things. Let's go back. Or was it two? Yeah, I only agreed with one. This one, number six. Wow. We'll take a look at this article later, uh, if I can still uh, get a hold of it. And we'll see how it all pans out at the end of the year. I just think this article was so wrong. I read it, and I was like, man, this is. these are the most incorrect predictions I have ever seen. Like I said, once again, not a personal attack. I just don't agree with your predictions. And I think you're from New York or L.A., part of the media centers, the media juggernaut. Believe me, I want you to keep your job, feed your family. Hey, <laughs> if you got to roll with these predictions and say that the Dodgers are going to play the A's or the A's are going to play the Yankees or whatever you're going to say, go for it. Go for it. I totally disagree. I'm going to keep it real. These predictions are just totally incorrect. Anyway, that's my video. Hopefully you guys liked it. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.